we're going to find the volume of a solid whose base is bounded by the graph of the circle x squared plus y squared equal to 2x and cross sections perpendicular to the y-axis are equilateral triangles. So first thing we're going to do is sketch the circle x squared plus y squared equal to 2x. To do that, we need to complete the square x squared minus 2x plus y squared equals 0. We move the 2x from right to left. And now dividing the coefficient of x, which is minus 2 by 2, we get minus 1. And square it, we get 1. That's what we are going to add to both sides. x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus y squared. We also have to add 1 to the right side. We get 1. x squared minus 2x plus 1 is x minus 1 squared plus y squared equals 1. We recognize this is a circle. The center of this circle is the point 1, 0. And the radius is 1. We need to solve this for x in terms of y. That would give us the equation for the left and the right semicircle. So x minus 1 squared is equal to 1 minus y squared, taking square root of both sides. x minus 1 equals plus or minus the square root of 1 minus y squared. So x equals to 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus y squared. When we have minus, that's the left semicircle. When we have plus, that's the right semicircle. So now let's sketch the base of the solid. And then we'll also sketch a representative cross section. The center of the circle is here at 1, 0. Then it goes to 2 on the right, to 0 on the left. And it goes up here when y is equal to 1. And goes down here when y is minus 1. And we can draw the circle. That's the equation of a circle x squared plus y squared equals to 2x. Now the right at this point is where we split off the right and the left semicircle. The right semicircle can be written as x equal to 1 plus the square root 1 minus y squared. And over here we have the left semicircle that's x equals to 1 minus the square root of 1 minus y squared. Now, according to the directions of the problem, this is a solid whose cross sections that are perpendicular to the y-axis are equilateral triangles. So I'm going to pick a y between minus 1 and 1. If we take a cross section of the solid, we'll have an equilateral triangle. One of the sides will be on the base right here, and it will be perpendicular to the y-axis. So this is one side of the equilateral and equilateral triangle corresponding to this y. The rest of the triangle looks something like that. And if I express the area of this triangle as a of y, the problem is solved. That is, we'll find the volume when we integrate from minus 1 to 1 all these areas of these equilateral triangles. And then dy is, gives it a little bit of thickness. So a of y dy is like a little piece of the volume. We add them all up using the integral. We get the exact volume. The problem comes down to finding the area of this equilateral triangle as a function of y. So let this be s, the length of a side of an equilateral triangle. Recall when we have an equilateral triangle with side s, its area is square root of 3 divided by 4 times s squared. Let's express s here as a function of y. We see that s is equal to the difference between the x-coordinate on the right semicircle. That's 1 plus square root of 1 minus y squared minus the x-coordinate on the left semicircle. That's 1 minus the square root of 1 minus y squared. When we simplify this, the 1's cancel. s is equal to twice square root 1 minus y squared. And then s squared is equal to 4 times 1 minus y squared. Therefore, a of y, the area of an equilateral tri triangle corresponding to y, is square root of 3 over 4 
times s squared, which is 4, times 1 minus y squared. We can cancel the 4s, and this is equal to the square root of 3 times 1 minus y squared. So the volume equals to integral from minus 1 to 1, a of y dy, which is square root of 3 times 1 minus y squared dy. And this, is, of course, is an easy integral to evaluate. We get square root of 3 times y minus 1 over 3 y cubed evaluated from minus 1 to 1. And this is square root of 3 times plugging in 1, we get 1 minus 1 third minus a minus 1 plus 1 third. So this is 2 thirds minus a minus 2 thirds, which is 4 thirds. 4 thirds times square root of 3 gives us the final answer 4 square root of 3 divided by 3.